And good, morning, good morning, everybody. It's Saturday at Dayton. It's the crazy day. You guys, we've pushed everything in Aurora. You've seen the technology. Yeah, it's all new stuff, but okay, let's get rid of the, you know, how do we do it and whatever. The point is we're doing 500 watts in a single box radio. So we're still opening up. I wanted to do this while it's quiet. You saw yesterday that we had this heating up to 200 degrees. It sat at 200 degrees all day. This sat about 80 Fahrenheit or just shy of, what's the 80s, uh, 20, um, I forgot. It was, Celsius, it was 26 almost Celsius, 30 degrees. Almost like. 30 degrees Celsius for, and we were, I kid you not, this is a real brick. And it is, oh, we have padding on it. Drop it on your foot, Mike. Well, you can just, hear it. Just to prove it. Yeah. And a nice J38 key. It's a real key, And too. it's a real key. And we had it in transmit all day long. Okay, so that's cool. That's great. I can run FT8. Uh, you know what? You're on AM. You're an AM guy. You can mash that pedal for 30 minutes and nobody's going to care. It, it, especially not the radio. Well, your friends might care. But now that we've got this all in one box, how many of you go to your summer house? you got to drag the radio, the amplifier. Or I'll get it the next trip. You don't have to. This will actually do carry-on luggage if you're a de-expedition or a mini de-expedition. Maybe just you're going on a vacation where you're going to operate for some days. You can take 500 watts in one carry-on bag because it runs from 84 volts to 260 volts AC. Now, it doesn't run on DC, and that's not the market it's for. But uh, we have had some POTA discussions where people have come in and said, well, if I have to, I can crank it on POTA at 500 watts and I only have to carry a little Honda generator with me. The th those things sip fuel, so you cut down on your weight. Uh, if you saw yesterday, we were running at 110 volts, at God knows how much extension cord running around here. We sat at 499 to 501 watts all day long, and we were drawing six and a half, six point seven 6.7 amps, right, Andy? That's about it. Um, you're a remote person, you're thinking of building a remote station, and you, I want my amplifier. You do it all in one box. Now there's no cabling. It's one thing to maintain. You know, how do I turn the AC power supply on? How do I turn the DC power supply? Problem is gone. The other thing we get is um, 500 watts or 1500. Well, that's a big number difference. Absolutely, it's a big number difference. But in the RF radio world, it is a very, very small difference in signal strength. Barely an S unit difference. Yeah, I know. You can say, oh, well, it makes a big difference in a pileup. Actually, the operator makes a big difference in a pileup, more than that extra 1S unit. So, uh, But you can come and argue with me that all day long uh, type of thing. You know, that extra, it's not even, um, let's see, 500, 3, 4, 5 dB improvement about an S unit. Andy, what did I miss? I think you got it all, Mike. Here, I'll uh, take over and I'll let Andy chat for a minute. The Aurora 510. And the Aurora 520 might be familiar to you in uh, in their form factor out front. We've also got the Aurora 510M and 520M, which have the traditional Maestro-like front panel. And as Mike mentioned earlier, these make a great radio for trips to the cottage, to the lake house, off to the summer home, on vacation in the Caribbean, everything in in one box, everything is an 18 pound carry-on. I don't know who wants to do it, but I'm sure there's someone out there that'll do it. I still need Scarborough Reef. Who wants to take some wood and set up? We'll make sure you get an Aurora to take I need Scarborough there. Reef too. Yeah, strangely enough. It, it's a game changer in that respect, as Mike has mentioned earlier, from a remote, uh, from a remote configuration perspective, this is a great opportunity as well. Mike, can, can we just take a quick look at the back of the radio? Yeah, let's go to, uh, around or the corner. Actually, here. let's go around the corner. Take a look at the back. It should be very familiar to you if you are a flex owner, a 6000 series, 6400, 6600. Looks pretty familiar on the back. What's going to look a whole lot different is it's got an AC power supply in it. Yeah, and the weight. Do you want to? Oh, so you ever asked what all the space was for? We were saving it. <laughs> it didn't work that, out that, that way. That's just it. That's just it. So this is the entire power unit. That's the tuner, uh, or is that the bandpass filters? I can't remember. But there's a tuner and the bandpass filters and the power amplifiers all underneath this. Uh, there's uh, two AC power supplies over there because I think, and I should check, it's 96 volts. Those two 48 volt power supplies. Yeah. And uh, still have some space to do stuff. 
Uh, and this will be in an M model. This has a nice glow to it. I, I, I wish We're not powered up on. yet. Maybe we can go to And uh, we'll be back later with more. And uh, here's just another closer look. But these are all the same connectors. You know, uh, it does, you can, and we highly, highly do not recommend this. Can I drive an external amplifier? You could, but man, if you get it wrong, you're going to take out this and you're going to take out your external amplifier. So we highly, highly, highly don't re recommend it. Full transverter support. Uh, and uh, and that's... Uh, it's all there. It's uh, all there. The GPS, the o, uh, GNSS, GPS, the O option. Uh, GNSS is, standard. Yes, GNSS is standard. GPS, the O, if you're that kind of operator, or you have that type of use case, it can be equipped as well, just like the 8000 series. Excellent. Anything else, guys? Email us if you have questions. I posted an FAQ in... Uh, I can't even know if this is working. I posted an FAQ in the... Flex Radio community, and you want to grab that? I'm going to grab that. And uh, so uh, I put a comparison chart in the Flex Radio community, and I, most of the FAQ, because I could only get so many characters in there, um, and you can find that at community.flexradio.com. So, hey, look forward to hearing from you. It's, go, it's a cooler day today here in, in Dayton, which is much better than yesterday's humidity. And, uh, and yeah, just drop us an email. I'll watch for you on social media. And... Uh, uh, this is a very cool time. You know, this is, we all love technology. That's why we're here. Things change and it's only going to get better. 7-3, everybody. 7-3. And Andy's going to hit finish. I'm going to hit finish. <laughs>